Hello there, year five. So we're carrying on with our portrait. We started it earlier. There we go. There's my drawing I did of Miss in the middle there. And I'm going to start painting it in. And I've got my black and white on either side of the plate with space to mix it. And I'm looking after my brushes, making sure they're in good condition. And I'm going to be looking at where it is darker on my picture and where I want to put on the shade. I'm going to mix some tones of grey to get me started. So you start with your lighter colour, which is obviously white. And then just take a tiny, tiny blob of black, a little tiny blob of black and mix it in. And then I'm going to mix another tone of the grey. This time I just used the white paint with the bit of grey I already had on my brush. And that's enough. I didn't need to put any more black in. And I'm just going to begin to sketch in where the shadow is. If you think about the John Woodrow Wilson, he used lots of greys on his. He had a practice of that one around the nose, around the cheeks, and Legere, he also uses shade, not as much, but you can see it around the eyes and around the outside of the face. And we're wanting to get on some of that grey onto our portrait. So you need to look at your picture. You need to have a look at where it is grey, where is the shadow? And the shadow is always around the eyes, around the nose, around the cheeks, under the chin, and around the outside of the face and that's what we're going to block in now and you know if you feel you do it wrong you just paint over it it's not a problem I'm just getting in some darker tones there get some around the nose remember we want that legere and John Woodrow Wilson shape nose and this is naive painting do you remember it's not trying to make it look exactly like the photograph we're trying to get the sense of our lovely worker in the middle here. Now I'm using some white now to fill in because even though it's white paper and we're doing a black and white monochromed painting, we want to paint everything in, not leaving any space, just paper. Now, if your worker has got darker skin tone, you might want to use a slightly darker gray to put on the skin, but that's fine, whatever you want to do. I'm just doing under the chin here, you can see it's very dark because of course the chin casts a shadow and going round, putting a bit more of the white on and you see how I just block it in. It's quite a quick process doing this because you've already got your lines drawn on and you've just got to go around the eyes, around the nose, a bit under the chin, around the cheeks and around the shape of the head. Blocking in all our colour and you can see here that Mrs lips are quite pale. Have a look at your picture and just match it up as best you can. And now I'm using some darker colour. I'm going to get in there for the really dark bits but it's not black, it's still just tones of grey. We're going to be using the black right at the very end when we've finished all of our other painting, including the background, which we'll be working on in a bit. I'm just getting on that darker grey, piling it on, looking at my picture, seeing where it's much darker, sketching it in. And you see, I didn't like that bit, so I just painted over it. It's not a problem at all. Just put in the eyebrows now bit darker and again I'm not worrying about any of the outlines just sketching those eyebrows and I've got the top of the head in there starting to build up the hair and this isn't supposed to be a complete copy because of course we're doing it in the style of Legere and we're doing it in the style of John Woodrow Wilson so it's not about it looking real I'm going to sketch in the hair. Now, do you remember how I showed you when we were doing the uh, top tips for painting that if you press harder to begin with, you get a thicker line and as you take your paintbrush off, stop pressing, you get a lighter, thinner end. So that works really well with the hair. Right, just sketching in the neck and the top of Mrs. shirt. Again, no black just greys, tones of greys and using the white as well. 
And even if someone's got quite dark skin, you'll see on their photograph that they've still got areas that are lighter because, of course, it's where the light is hitting them. Finished sketching in the T-shirt there. So really, the ideal thing is for you to get this done in one lesson, sketching it in and getting these grey tones on, just finishing off the earrings, because that leaves you time to let it dry before you work on the background. That's the ideal thing to do. So remember, trying to get that leisure feeling into your painting and just using tones of greys and whites, reflecting back to John Woodrow Wilson as well.